hello everyone. So, we got a new video from the Young Turks, and it's addressing a topic that they have never addressed before. It's a long-standing trend in a city known as London, and that trend is acid attacks. What do I mean by that? I mean sulfuric acid being thrown into the face of people, scarring them for life. Why have we never heard them talk about this before? It happens hundreds of times a year in London, but we heard about it today for the first time ever. Well, let's just table that question and maybe we can figure it out by the end of this video. Hook Nose Anna, please begin. Two individuals in London were the victims of a brutal acid attack. The individuals were of Muslim descent. Really? Okay, so first things first, let's make sure you are aware. Muslims are the victims. In fact, do they, what's the name of the video? The name of the video is Muslims Suffer Brutal Acid Attack. It's interesting that they mention the word Muslims in the title because they are often hesitant to do that. And when I say hesitant, I mean never do that. Go out of their way to avoid doing that. But here, the lead, the first thing they want you to know, Muslims suffer. <laughs> I mean, it's so Freudian, it is beautiful. Just to give you a sense of how they like to title their videos, let's take a gander, shall we? At some of their other titles. Remember the old Charlie Hebdo event? A couple of Muslims went into that uh, magazine in Paris, killed everybody. Here's how they titled that. 12 killed in barbaric attack on French satire magazine. 12 killed. So there is no subject there. There's the verb. There was a killing. There was a killing. That's the what. Who? Who? Hello? Anybody? Who killed them? Oh no, Muslims didn't suffer in that one. Therefore, it's not mentioned. How about that Manchester bombing? You remember that one? Not long ago. Muslim kid blew himself up, killed a bunch of Ariana Grande fans. They called that one... Manchester terrorist, oh no, sorry, Manchester terrorist attack. So there's not even a human involved, my bad. Kills 22, okay. So here the relevant thing in their estimation is the location, the where. So the where and the what, the who, ominously missing. <laughs> they knew who it was. The pictures were out there, is not mentioned. That is what we call in Los Angeles, sketchy as fuck. Remember that decapitation in London where the Muslim killed some British officer? They did a video on that called Terrorism? Soldier Brutally Butchered in the Street. Okay, <laughs> that's amazing. So now the, the victim, the soldier, okay, what happened? There was a butchering, that's what happened. Who did it? Who did it? Now this one, they did show the picture of the guy because it was a viral video at that point. But that is against the norm and we will discover that soon. Do you remember the Berlin truck attack? Remember the van of peace that went through that Christmas market in Berlin? Yeah, that was a Muslim doing that. So you could easily say Muslim kills people in Berlin, but you don't. Instead, you have breaking 12 dead, 50 injured in Berlin terrorist truck attack. Truck attack? Trucker, please. What are you talking about? Truck attack? So the who, once again, you know, okay, there is a truck. Is it one of those automated trucks? Just a self-driving truck? Who's behind this? Is this Elon Musk? What the fuck? There was a driver of the truck and he was a Muslim and he did it for Muslim reasons. Obviously. And here it is again, Berlin truck attacker. <laughs> Gunned down. They call him the truck attacker. Amazing. So you're never going to find the word Muslim in one of these video titles, but you did find it on this one. Continue, Anna, let's explore the vile anti-white bullshit that you guys spew out daily. And uh, they were apparently celebrating uh, one of their birthdays when this attack took place. Rasham Khan and Jamil Mukhtar suffered serious burns after they were both doused in sulfuric acid as they waited in traffic in East London on June 21st. The uh, attack of course is unfortunate, but uh, to make it even more unfortunate is the fact that the perpetrator is at large. Well, thank God we know that when there's a perpetrator at large, you don't show their face or you pixelate it. There's no way you're going to show the face because you don't want to glorify the shooter or the acid dumper. Why would you do that? That's your policy. You didn't show the Cleveland shooter's face when he was at large because he was a black. Uh, officials have not caught him yet. He's a 24 year. Oh my fucking God. Kaboom. Take a look at that. God, I thought Mike Tyson's face tats were a mistake. Take a look at these gems. I feel like the tears should be closer to the corner of the eye, though. Like, why the placement? I don't get that. Your cheeks are crying. So, booyah. Just right in your effing face. White guy. White guy, John Tomlin. There he is, the bad guy, allegedly. 
Do you think this is consistent with how they operate? Are you aware of how adverse they are to showing the faces of Muslim killers and Muslim terrorists? Oh, you don't believe me? You don't want to take my word for it? Oh, okay, I'll show you the visual evidence. The UK suffered its third terror attack of 2017 this weekend, tragically. This time, three attackers targeted civilians in the area immediately surrounding the London Bridge. Who are they, John? Show us their face, that's the whole story. Who are these dudes? Uh, as of today, seven have already died and nearly 50 are wounded. Uh, I believe the majority of them uh, in critical condition right now in London area hospitals. Uh, we have a little graphic we're gonna show you. Oh, not a graphic of their face though. Oh, okay, the location, got it. There's a lot of information that's been released about exactly what happened. Uh, effectively, they used a van as a weapon initially. Oh, it could have been that truck attacker up in Berlin. Keep an eye out for him. On the London Bridge before getting off on foot and attacking people in a crowded market area. God, look at the River Thames. Just looks like a cesspool. What a sewer pit. They shouldn't even call it a river. Uh, more information is coming out about the attackers. Show that picture, baby. So we're going to talk a little bit about that, including their uh, country of origin, because there are some narrative. What country of origin? Don't keep us in suspense, John. Was it Norway, Sweden, or Finland? Hashtag Anders Brevik. At stake here, I suppose. Um, in terms of exactly who they are, I don't care about that. They're assholes who got what they deserve. Oh, in terms of who they actually are, not relevant. Oh, interesting. Seems to be relevant when he's a white guy with tear tattoos in London. Not relevant here. No, here's what you need to know about them. They were assholes. <laughs> Breaking news, guys who kill people indiscriminately are assholes. And therefore, we should not even look at them. Holy Christ. Oh, God, it is so unbelievable. Uh, okay, but they probably do this with white people too, right? Recently, there was an attack uh, in Portland uh, by a white supremacist named Jeremy Joseph Christian. Uh, and the first time we report the story, we give you the name. Afterwards, we try to leave it out to the best of our abilities. <laughs> oh, do you really? Yeah. Afterwards, you try to leave it out to the best of your abilities. Uh, unless it's Muslim, then you never reveal the face or a picture. Incredible. And what did you say? Afterwards, you try your best to not show the face again? Really? Well, your comrade over at the Young Turks, Francis, he did a video, apparently spitting in the face of that policy, called The Threat Nobody Wants to Name The White Terrorist. <laughs> and the thumbnail, just in case you're not clear about their hatred of white people and their agenda to minimize terrorism and try to make it seem like it's, oh, it's all the same. The numbers, they don't, you know, whatever. Just don't stop counting, please. It says, this is what a terrorist looks like. And a big ass mug shot of this guy's big ass mug. Insane gank. I'm sorry, the fat brown buffalo. Yeah, and also like the funniest part was, but well, he was making us laugh and he said something about like haters insulting. And he went, whatever, I'm brown. Yeah, cool. <laughs> I'm fat. I'm fat. Look at me. I'm fat. We're all like... Self-awareness, yeah. self-awareness. No, 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 it's just like he's cool. I love that he's like just responding to Devin Tracy there. Yeah, I'm a fat brown buffalo. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you know. So you've all heard by now that obviously there was a giant uh, bombing in Manchester uh, at an Ariana Grande uh, concert. I want to uh, tell you some of the details here. Obviously, every part of this is tragic. We do know who did it. Oh, I did. It was a Muslim kid that did it. Show me his fucking picture now. We do know who did it. According to British authorities, it is 20. Here it comes, baby. Let me see that brown face. It is 23 year old Salman Abidi. Salman Abidi. Uh, so he apparently blew himself up. What? <laughs> no, not gonna show it. Not gonna show it. So I like how he answered that too. Salman Abidi. The answer we were looking for was Salman Abidi. Yeah, not good enough, guys. Jesus Christ, a picture is worth a thousand words. And on the internet, you might want to multiply that by another thousand. What's a thousand times a thousand? I don't know. Why don't you Google it and tell me about it in the comments, fucking smarty pants. Tragedy strikes in Quebec. Uh, let me tell you about it. It is shooting at a mosque. So let's go to the Associated Press. A shooting at a Quebec City mosque during evening. Well, whatever you do, don't show us the picture of this guy because that's what he would have wanted and let's not glorify him. Thank you. The suspect is apparently, and sorry, with all these French names, I, you know, I'm not going to pronounce them right. Alexandra uh, Bissonnette. Motherfuckers. I love how he drops the, I don't want to offend the French with this pronunciation. So let me just understand that. You're talking about people that have just been killed by this sketchy little dipshit, and you're worried about mispronouncing his French name and, and offending people. I mean, what a weird insight into how his mind works, or doesn't.
Once again, white terrorist, happy to show you. Cable News is desperate for any information about the people involved in the shooting this week. Now, rummaging through their The people involved in the shooting this week? That's your interpretation of the San Bernardino... Oh, say that one ten times fast. I dare you. Of the San Bernardino... San Bernardino. <laughs> That's how you classify the San Bernardino terrorists. These two. John. John. Why did you not want to show me this picture? John, be honest. John, why is your channel shown more pictures of Dylan Roof than freaking a Dylan Roof scrapbook? And yet you refuse to show me this? These are the two people that killed people in my state. I was in Las Vegas when that happened, which is kind of close to San Bernardino. That's a near-death experience for me. Fuck them. Shooting last night in Charleston, South Carolina at Emmanuel AME Church. It's a historic black church in South Carolina. Uh, and it was done by a guy named Dylan Storm Root. Uh, he appears to be uh, some sort of right-wing uh, racist uh, that targeted black people in this country and obviously in that particular church. He killed nine people, six women, and three men. Earlier this week, Dylan Roof, the man who shot and killed nine black individuals in a church in Charleston, South Carolina, was convicted of murdering them and also convicted of hate crimes. Now that Dylan Roof is captured and he's behind bars, there is a report indicating that he is in a cell adjacent from the cell that Michael Slager You're is fucking in. White man. Now, Michael Slager is the white police man. official who's been arrested because he shot and killed an unarmed black man by the name of Walter Scott as he was running away from him. The jury in the case involving Dylan Roof, uh, the man who shot and killed nine individuals, black individuals, black individuals, black individuals, black individuals, black individuals, black individuals. That's interesting. Look at all these pictures of Dylan Roof. Okay, there he is carrying the Confederate flag, more Confederate flag. It seems like he's making a political point. And then look, him standing on the American flag. If a jihadi was doing that, that would seem like a political point, wouldn't it? How about burning the American flag? If a Muslim terrorist was doing that, I'm sure that that would be considered political, wouldn't it? Oh, but if it's a racist who's doing it, who's doing it for white rights, why is that not political? Here we go. Uh, remember Omar Mateen, the nightclub shooter in Orlando? Yeah, who was he? Let's, uh, well, he pixelated his face there, but if we click it, here we go. Here's what we know so far about the background of the Orlando nightclub shooter. He was born in New York to Afghan immigrant parents. We are going to not say his name. We're not going to show his picture. We have no interest in idolizing or helping those who would idolize shooters of this sort, but we- You motherfucker! Oh, you don't want to idolize or help, huh? But you do want to idolize and help a guy who throws acid in people's faces in London because he's white? Jesus Christ, Young Turks. Such amateur shit. So sick of it. I gotta fucking regulate on these people from halfway around the world because it's an embarrassment that this comes out of Los Angeles, my stomping ground, and me just- your average friggin' UCLA, uh, average, please, cracker, please, a regular UCLA graduate can just walk onto any of these topics and just fucking rape these people in public easily. Hashtag I'm against rape, hashtag not all. That doesn't make sense. No, I'm against all rape. Ho! He's a 24-year-old by the name of John Tomlin. 